Hello, it's me, again, the Grand Dame. On this week's Culture Lovers episode, I am reporting on the opportunity that was given to the channel owners. Through Stam Campers, and in an unexpected twist, they were able to rent and try out one of the campers they had shortlisted. An Adria Compact Plus DL from 2021. Before I continue, please note that this episode has not been sponsored by any of the companies mentioned. What is represented here is the honest opinion of the owners of this channel. Okay, let us start. Throughout this review, I will take you through the following perspectives. As a first point, let's look what they concluded about driving this camper. As a second topic I will share what they think about the beds and sleeping in the camper. Thirdly, we'll spend a few words on the shower and the toilet. Next we'll discuss the kitchen. After this we'll discuss the dinette or sitting area. Next on the list is the envisioned office area. And the garage. After that we, LL still need to cover the design. The ground plan. The weight. And last but not least the match with regard to envisioned use by the culture lovers team. Okay. Let's start with the first viewpoint. Driving the camper. The Adria Compact they rented was based on a Fiat Ducato with 160 horsepower and a 9-speed automatic transmission. This is a perfect basis for a good van. The Adria Compact almost drives like a regular car, that is, if it were not that it is, a little bit longer. The owners of the channel were also quite impressed by the overview of the traffic you get. The side mirrors are quite good. Sadly, the rented camper did not come equipped with a rear view camera, but that could be easily added. Also, it is a bit strange that the camper has an interior rear view mirror, since there is no rear window. We understand that this problem will be resolved in the 2022 models. A display connected to a rear view camera will replace the interior mirror. In summary, with regards to driving the camper, they were very satisfied with the Fiat Ducato's performance. On the second perspective, the beds or sleeping in the camper. This can be a very short paragraph, as I understand. The Adria mattresses are amazing. Bar and Jan of 1 m 93, did not have any issue sleeping like a baby. 3. The shower and toilet. I understand that both owners have tested the shower. The space is limited, and the amount of water they can use is restricted. But still, they were completely happy with it. Regarding the toilet, things are a bit different. They describe it as a glorified pot with limited capacity. Perfect for so-called number ones, and this only for a time span of about 48 hours. It is clear that this is not good enough for when you go off-grid. Bar and Jan is now investigating alternatives. He is looking into the possibility to replace the chemical toilet by a Klesana C1 toilet. Next on the list is the kitchen area. The Adria Compact DL's kitchen is quite good. There is a lot of space in the drawers, and the compressor refrigerator is huge. The biggest negative they can think of, is the limited worktop space. But what do you expect in a camper? Also, you can solve this by simply using the table of the dinette as additional space. Furthermore, the owners were very pleased with their approach to cooking. Cooking in a camper is not just about preparing a delicious meal, it is also about keeping the camper free from smells and grease. To achieve this they did choose to cook their meals in a mini instant pot and complement them with salads. This way they avoided baking completely. They believe that approach of cooking under the lid minimizes the negative effects of cooking in a camper. So they tested this approach and concluded that you can have delicious meals while keeping the camper free of grease and smells. So the instant pot approach was declared a giant success. They only would like to add a tiny rice cooker. Such a device would multiply the possibilities by being able to cook the rice separately using the same approach. Of course, using an instant pot means that you have to be connected to the mains or have enough batteries to support the process. For the rice cooker a second mains outlet in the kitchen will be needed. And then, we come to the dinette. The compact DL has a very comfortable sitting area. This makes that this compact camper feels very spacious. There is plenty of room for two. However, in some cases you end up making some interesting moves when you want to change places. 
At the end of the day, you live in the limited space of a camper. After this, let us spend some thoughts about the office area. This topic will make quite some people frown, simply because this camper does not have an office area. Having said this, they checked if we could add a small desk and a monitor somewhere so that you can do some work on the road. Their conclusion is, that it can be done easily. That is, if you, 1, mount a sliding 32-inch monitor to the wall between the bedroom and the kitchen area, and 2 add a temporary small table top on top of the mattresses, and 3 put a hard foam block to sit on, on the highest step that you find between the beds, you have your office space. It is small, but it is perfect. The next topic is the garage. In our opinion, the Adria Compact DL's garage is more than enough for the culture lovers team. It is more than enough space, but you need to put in a lightweight shelf system, otherwise it quickly becomes a mess, that will not be helpful anymore. Okay, let us now spend a few words on the design. The design of the Adria Compact has been very well received by the team. The minimalistic look of the Adria Compact appeals to them, and they appreciate the attention to detail that was put into it. The Adria's design team deserves a big compliment. Next is the ground plan of the camper. The ground plan does not require much comment. It simply fits the needs of the owners perfectly. Since they aren't 20 anymore, they really appreciate the two longitudinal beds in the back, and the cozy dinette with the large table. Also, they feel Adria did an excellent job with the kitchen, bathroom and shower area. To evaluate the weight, they put the camper on a way bridge. They wanted to have kind of a baseline. They know that you have to respect the 3,500 kg limit. The camper they had weighed 3,400 kg, that is with us and all the stuff they brought and all the option fitted. Considering that they did not carry much water, this was much more than they expected. This makes clear that if they want to fit more options, then they must also decide which options they can leave out. For instance, by replacing the air conditioner with a max van, they could save about 30 kilograms. Likewise they could win another 25 kilograms by not having a bike carrier installed. This brings us to the last section of this review, that is the match of this camper with our envisioned use. This may well be the most difficult topic. Dreaming about a camper allows for dreaming about its use. You do not have to worry about its inherent physical limitations. The owners learned that this Adria camper fits quite well the kind of trips envisioned by culture-lovers.eu. That is, trips that typically take weeks or months, instead of days. For making short trips for just a weekend or a few days, an Adria Compact DL is a bit big. So, you can imagine, what the discussion is at the moment. Are the owners committed enough to justify buying this camper? Are they committed to go away from home for longer trips? Or do they have to rethink what they want? I do not know the outcome of this discussion, but I guess they soon will take a decision. I am curious to learn what they decide. Okay, that was the short report on the Adria Compact DL that the owners of this channel came with after a week of testing. Overall, a very good story about this camper I think. Soon we will learn about the next steps on this front. For next week we have not yet decided what kind of episode we will prepare. I suppose that Don Quixote will be back then. If you want to see what story he brings, I suggest that you subscribe and click the little bell. By doing that you will be notified automatically when next week's session is online. Okay, for now enjoy life and see you next time.